We were really driven to tell the fullest possible story. All the photographs that are made to record conflict and its aftermath. In seeing the work on the walls here today, it draws you in and you can't escape, which is very much how, you know, what war feels like, like you're trapped. I have resigned myself to accepting that I was in Iraq as a photographer for my friends and to hopefully give a voice to other veterans who did not get a chance to come home. Vietnam was the first war I covered, and I, my friends were going off, getting shot at uh, as soldiers. It was the biggest story of my generation, and I had to go cover it. I felt that my job was to record what the Iraqis were experiencing as a result of this war, and um, April 9th was the day the Americans arrived in Baghdad. I started photographing the buildings that were being burned and the, the uh, looting that was starting to happen. But seeing Saddam's statue burning um, definitely stood out in my mind as a symbolic moment. If my nine-year-old boy was dressing like an Al-Qaeda operative with an RPG over his shoulder, I would freak out, as I think anybody, any parent would. But this is the reality. This is the everyday reality of working, of living in Iraq for these people. That's what we, I think, need to see. 1973, I was one of the first photographers to go into a VC village, and that was a real leap of faith. Uh, I mean, these are the same people who had been shooting at me the week before, essentially. And what really got me was that they were just like everybody else. I mean, you always have a, a different view of the enemy, quote unquote, uh, if you haven't seen them or talked to them. We knew from the beginning that we wanted only the most complex pictures that could be on a wall next to another photograph that was really complex and powerful so that there was this cumulative effect. I'm really honored to be a part of this show. I love the way that it's been curated, not by each war, but rather almost like a picture story. War is all gray, except within that experience, there's a lot of black and white, which is man can be at its absolute worst towards one another, but it can also be its absolute best. And I see that on the walls here. It's an astonishing collection of photographs before war, after war, during war. The sum total of this exhibition will really give you a sense of what it was like in every level. You know, the, this compassion towards often strangers and this, this camaraderie is you know, very real and it very much exists on these walls.